yo, what is up YouTube? And I guess my brothers and sisters in Christ now, like what the hell? I guess I can't say that, damn it. Anyways, if you guys are here, it's probably because you wanna know how the heck I became a minister, an ordained minister at the age of 22. I wanna know that as well. So if you guys wanna stick around, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, this is crazy. I'm dressed like this because I just finished my internship for the summer and I just could not wait to get home because this package has been waiting until I had a free moment. And guess what? That moment has arrived just like Jesus Christ after the third day. Alrighty, praise be, I will see you guys after the credit rolls. Ready, go. Hello, okay, I am editing this, and before we get into anything, um, just watch the full video before you cast your judgments or make any kind of statements or leave any kind of hate comments because I know everybody's stronger behind the keyboard, whatever. Just watch the full thing before you say anything and because I explain a lot and you could learn from it. All good? Guess what? I am officially allowed and legally allowed to officiate marriages and not one, not two, but all 50 states in the United States of America. All 50, Alabama, I got you. Texas, I got you. Alaska, I'm not going there, but I would love to if you pay for my flight. I will be there and officiate your wedding. Okay, so this is what happened. I went online and it's ulc.com. So United, what is it? Universal Life Church Monastery. And basically I was like, what does it take to become an ordained minister? So they have you fill out your name and address and there's a submit button. I hit submit. Boom! It was like, congratulations, you're now allowed to officiate marriages in all 50 states. I was like, what the hell is going on? I can't say that. <laughs> so I look at it and there's a principal certificate and I was like, do I leave it at that? And I said, no, 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 no. We want to go the full, full nine yards. So I clicked on their packages and I think I got like the mid-level marriage package. And guys, this unboxing is going to be crazy. I don't even remember everything that came in here. But some of this stuff will blow your minds. Liar. Okay, this is insane. Why am I talking? Let's just get to it, okay? So here is, here's the packaging. Smells like religion. I think this whole ordeal was like 70 bucks and I threw it on the ground earlier and I heard something and I hope it wasn't something shattering. So let's just see what happens. Now I don't know if you're gonna be able to see everything from there, so I'll probably have a few overlays going here. But, okay, let's pull it out. Okay, so we have we are one, a universal belief with a bunch of text and writing. Bye, box. We're done with you. Oh my god. Okay. This is too much. I need to send this back. Oh my god. I don't know how to show this to you guys. Okay, you know, we're just gonna bring the camera closer. Here we go. Hello. I'm sweating today. How are you? So, the first thing that catches my eye is that I get a clergy badge. Okay, I have one in white, and then I have another one in black. It's kind of hard to show up. You probably can't see that one. But I'm assuming, I'm assuming that this one's for weddings and this one's for funerals. Oh my God, look, 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 look. It comes with a window sticker. That is insane. So I can literally put that on my car. Wait, 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 wait. Look, 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 look. Can you see this? Can you see this? It's a minister parking permit with a scannable barcode. I am never paying another parking ticket again. Universal Life Church Ministry Credentials of Ministry. To this is to certify that the bearer hereof on this day, the 18th of July in the year 2018, is ordained by the Universal Life Church Ministries. Don't believe me, take a gander. Look, oh lord. Wait, it gets so much better. It gets so infinitely better. Okay, look, I have a press pass. Okay, a press pass to trespass. The back's even better. Universal Life Church Ministries, Ministerial Consulate. This vehicle is on official ministry business. <laughs> Me? I can do this? I'm legally allowed to marry people? This is all still just like hitting me. What is going on here? <sighs> I need breathers throughout this entire thing. Okay, let's go with something a little bit less dramatic. We have a, a notepad, and it has the yin and yang, the Star of David, some symbols I'm not familiar with. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a pentagram, so that's not staying in my house because I am for Christ and not for he who must not be named because mm -mm. I have a booklet here. It's called By the Power Vested in You. 
And on the back it has, How to Officiate a Wedding, a Guide for Ordained Ministers. So. Oh look! Okay. Okay, quality, come through. We're not gonna spark any controversy with people today. Oh, I'll tell you about traditions, family blessings, contemporary vows. That sounds like a prenup wedding. Not gonna lie. Okay. <clears throat> this is never going on my car, just because I don't put bumper stickers anyways. But it gave me a fat ass universal life church minister bumper sticker. Mmm, -hmm, honey. We're not playing today. There's another bumper sticker, but we're trashing this one because once again, we're not messing with the no, no. Trash. A pen. I paid $70 for a seven cent pen. Bye! This is where we get serious. Cause this is not all just a big joke. I'm just in shock and disbelief and I just want people to know that. I'm just like... <laughs> what is going on here? This next part is the legal part. I think you might know what this is. <clears throat> I'm gonna put a picture of what this is right here so you can see what it says. Universal Life Church Ministries. Credentials of Ministry. This is to certify that Joseph M. Weber that the Bayer Hill has been ordained on this day, the 18th of July, in the year 2018, and is officially recognized as a member of the Universal Life Church, and has all the rights and privileges to perform all duties of the ministry. I am a disciple for Christ. Shout it from the mountains. <laughs> and then here's the part that could get me in trouble if I ever get drunk someday and want to officiate a wedding. I have two legal certificates of marriage. <laughs> all I need is a witness and to submit these to a court magistrate, and you're gonna get married. If anybody wants to elope, to get married behind their parents' back, that might be the same thing. I don't know. Or just get married for a weekend. Um, Y'all just come to me and I will hook you up. And then they have a really, really decorative one. Um, it's just kind of like a, a marriage certificate, but I think it's still legally binding, I'm not entirely sure, but it's just fanciful and whatnot. This is crazy. Okay, now I do want to get serious for a second, because marriage is a real thing. Will I ever officiate a marriage? Not in this day and age, not, not with this mentality. But this is crazy knowing that I actually have the power to like bring two people together and given the right time and the right circumstances, if you ask me to, I will definitely do it with correct consideration. And when I say that I'm an official minister of the church, that does not mean that I can give sermons. That does not mean that I'm any more or less religious than before. This company, I think, I'm going to call it a company. I know it's a religious organization, but I don't really think that just by filling in your address and name, that, you know, you can be any closer to a religion. So I think that's kind of um, just a, a money maker to have you buy these kinds of packages. But you know that my little butt is going to be putting this minister parking permit anytime I go to an event. And anytime that, you know, somebody asks, where's your ID? I can say this vehicle is here on official magistrate business. And here's my press pass if you don't believe me. And it's really funny just because I have a lot of friends. I'm going to my senior year of college now and I have a lot of friends, just somebody else that I know got engaged yesterday. So I know at least six couples that are getting married. So it's a very real thing at my point in life that like friends are moving on, friends are getting married, they're starting their own families. And that's crazy. I want to congratulate you on that. I mean, it's a little early if you ask me, but then again, you know, I don't know your situation. I don't know how deep your love is for each other. And I think it's definitely for the best. But if you need to officiate your wedding, I will be there either as press, either to officiate it, or just to give you guys the love and congratulations that, that you need. I really have a business card, like a hard plastic card certifying me for my, this is still hitting me. This is insane. Okay, you guys, that does it for this video. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Check out some of my other videos. I'm going to Warp Tour this weekend. That's going to be insane. I did um, a haul of what I'm going to be wearing. I'll link that up here. You guys can click on it now. Until then, um, my gosh, I'm so excited for Warp Tour this weekend. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.